Christy Sullivan says she's lucky to be alive after a carbon monoxide scare. The carbon monoxide was coming from here. This fireplace was giving off deadly gas, firefighters tell her, on a night when neighbor Lauren Freeman was dog sitting for her. Six in the morning, they have an alarm system on their house, and it started going off. Thinking it was a false alarm, Lauren turned it off. But a few minutes later, I got a call at 6.30 in the morning from ADT. They wouldn't have called me. Lauren would have gone back to bed, and they said that, you know, within an hour or so, she'd have been dead with all the other dogs. Christy had called me, and she was saying that there was carbon monoxide in the house and that I needed to get outside. Everyone got out, and firefighters were able to turn off the gas and air out the house. Christy says she never expected trouble from this gas fireplace since it was only five years old and she didn't use it that much. But it turns out these should be checked periodically, just like your furnace. The National Association of Home Inspectors say ventless or vent-free fireplaces should not be used for more than two hours, should never be in bedrooms, and should be serviced every fall. California and some cities have passed laws restricting them, requiring gas fireplaces to have outdoor vents. Because if you don't have a carbon monoxide detector, you won't know you're being poisoned. Did you smell anything? No, I didn't, had no idea what was going on. Ventless fireplace manufacturers say their models are safe and in fact are much safer than wood-burning fireplaces that are blamed for hundreds of house fires every year. As always, don't waste your money.